Just three more games. Just three more games. Just three more games. Everybody, welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor, smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about post-game Arizona Cardinals versus the San Francisco 49ers. And currently, right now, while I'm recording this video, it isn't quite done. I think it's got about a minute or so or, or two minutes left here in this game. But man, this was an absolute beatdown. <laughs> an absolute beatdown. Now, before we get started, huge shout out here to the sponsor of the video, FOCO. If you guys haven't heard of it, basically, it's a spot where you can get memorabilia for the Arizona Cardinals or any team out there, right? If you're not a fan of the Arizona Cardinals, no worries. Go ahead and check out FOCO um, and then use promo code AZ Sports to get 10% off. You can get shirts, glasses, slides, shorts, anything you want. And it is licensed through the NFL. The link is in the description below. So let's get started here, everybody. Let's talk about this. Um, obviously, I, I, I know a lot of people are going to ask me, why aren't you mad? Honestly, I think I've kind of got to the point of the season where it's it, it is what it is, right? It is what it is at this very moment. There's no point of allowing this team to to get me frustrated to the point where you know it, it ruins my whole day or my whole week. Um, but yeah, it, this is another a, a brutal performance <laughs> by the Arizona Cardinals. Now, granted, if you look at the scoreboard, it, it almost kind of seemed like you know closer, right? Closer, but I mean, it, regardless, look at the score. It's still bad. It's it's a it's an overall beatdown uh, by the Arizona Cardinals. Now things kind of went our way. We ended up seeing obviously um, uh, Trey McBride continuing his dominance in the NFL, which is absolutely huge. Uh, nine receptions, 99 yards. As of when we're recording this video, uh, Kyler Murray didn't have a good game again. He's struggling again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so curious. Please, please, please tell me in the comments below, how are you feeling about Kyler Murray's play, right? And I'm talking about of, of all five sample sizes that we've seen from Kyler Murray so far this year. Now, yes, we are two and three now with Kyler Murray. Um, and I get it. This roster isn't one to compete with a Super Bowl caliber team like a San Francisco 49ers. But I, I kind of feel like you still expect your... Your franchise quarterback to have better numbers than he's actually putting up, right? As of while we're recording this video, and like I said, there's still probably about a minute or two left in this game. He's 19 of 30, 158 yards, two interceptions. Like, no touchdowns throwing. Uh, James Conner also, you know, he, he got involved. James Conner, 14 carries, 86 yards, a touchdown. Kudos to him, right? But we also saw a dominant performance from Christian McCaffrey again. Uh, Christian McCaffrey had three touchdowns. I think it was two receiving um, and then one uh, rushing. Now, the touchdowns in the beginning of the game, they almost kind of seem very, very... The Arizona Cardinals are, are beating themselves, right? Because th there are very, very, like, walk-in touchdowns for the San Francisco 49ers. Now, was this defense completely duped? Probably, right? We've said this before. It seems like the Cardinals have heart, but they don't have the talent to compete with a San Francisco 49ers. And, and obviously, we're seeing it here on, on the field, right? Um... This was a, a, a shell-shocking moment, and I know there's going to be some Cardinal fans that are going to take this this loss hard. The only thing I can say to you guys right now is this, there's three games left. Um, there's three games left. I, I, it sucks to lose against a division rival, uh, but where we are at right now as an organization, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I truly don't. Now, as of right now, while we're recording this video, I, I still think Kyler Murray is actually playing in this game still. Um, and, and to me... That actually tells me uh, that obviously probably Kyler Murray doesn't want to leave this game. Uh, but on top of that, that they're probably trying to like pat his stats to make it look a little bit better. But man, Kyler Murray did not have a good game at all. Threw a pick six um, and, and then another interception. So in the grand scheme of things, the 49ers are just way better than us overall. Way better in every sense of the imagination, right? We can come out here and say, these are my keys to success, right? We can do this, 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 and that. But the bottom line is, it doesn't matter. They got Debo Samuel, they got Ayuk, they got Kittle, they got Christian McCaffrey. Uh, Brock Purdy, for the love of God, threw four touchdowns on the Arizona Cardinal defense today. Like, it, it's, it's bad. It's, it's bad right now. It, it really is. Um, now, I, I wish I could come out here and say, you know, uh, I'll give some MVPs away. Okay, I will. I'll give some MVPs away. Trey McBride and, and James Conner, I feel like, are, are truly the only guys on the offensive side of the ball that that deserves anything. Anything. 
We didn't see Michael Wilson. Now, is that Kyler Murray's fault? Probably. We didn't see uh, Marquise Hollywood Brown. And again, he didn't finish off a game because of his nagging heel injury. Honestly, guys, I I'm to the point where I'm going to come out here and say this. I do not want Marquise Hollywood Brown back. I do not want him back. I'm not trying to sign him in a multi-year deal. It's crazy to me if he does get signed. It, it truly is. Now, granted, yes, I get it. It is not in his control if he gets hurt. I'm fully aware of that. But this, this sample size that we've been seeing is not good enough. It, it, it's not good enough at all. Uh, and, and I don't want to give him wide receiver number two money. I, I'm just going to come out here and say this right. I'm not going to give him wide receiver number two money. Now, let's give some more, I guess, flowers away. Amari DeMocardo had a big breakout uh, run. He ended up finishing up the game with uh, four carries, 64 yards, one touchdown. Michael Carter, I really do like the way Michael Carter runs. So hopefully he can be a guy for the future moving forward. Fingers crossed. Now, there was a little bit of a scare because Kyler Murray ended up going down. I think he actually got need in the, you know, in the privates area. He ended up going to the medical tent, but he didn't want to go there. And he ended up coming back and blah, blah, blah. The rest is history, right? Overall, this wide receiving core, I I'm not a fan of. I, I know, I, I still do like Michael Wilson. Granted, this is unfortunate that this game turned out the way that it did. He was, what, zero receptions, zero yards. I don't put this all on Michael Wilson. I, I don't think... Kyler Murray is giving anybody an opportunity. Like, truly. I, I I don't know. I'm just going to come out there and say that right now. Right? We'll leave that at that. Let me know how you guys are feeling about, obviously, Kyler Murray's play. Uh, let's continue to, to see here. I don't think there was any pressure uh, on Brock Purdy at all. I think he had a pretty clean pocket. There was a moment that there was kind of a, a concern with Brock Purdy ended up getting hurt. I think uh, Dennis Gardick ended up knocking into him, and then there was a flag thrown. And after that, it almost kind of seemed like, Something clicked on him and he was like, all right, let's go. Let, let's destroy this team. And, and obviously, the, the rest is history from there. But Brock Purdy had a very, very good game uh, for the 49ers. Um, McCaffrey, like we said earlier, is absolutely completely torched us and destroyed us. And it's just three more games, y'all. There's three more games left. And at this very moment, I don't know if any of these games are truly winnable. Uh, we got the Bears, which are, are hitting their stride. And they're looking a lot better because they were actually in contention. Um, or at least close to beating uh, the, the Cleveland Browns, which actually destroyed us uh, not too long ago. Then we got the Eagles, and then we got the Seahawks. So, although, yes, I want to be optimistic, I, I don't know about this, man. I, I, I truly, truly do not know about this. And, yeah, as of right now while we're recording it, the game's not quite over yet, but, yeah, Kyler Murray's still in the game. <laughs> Kyler Murray is still in the game. And, and like I said a little earlier, the only reason why I can think of why Kyler Murray is still in this game is to kind of pat his stats and maybe Kyler Murray doesn't want to leave the field. That, that's probably what it is at the grand scheme of things. But like, he shouldn't be finishing this game. This, is, this game's done. It's over. It's destroyed. The, the Cardinals are... We're dead in the water. It, it, it's what it is. Um, and I get it. He's probably fighting for some sort of, um, you know, redemption for himself. And I'm right there with him. But in the grand scheme of things here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this this isn't going to cut it. Nobody was expecting a win. Um, but I don't think anybody was or nobody was wanting to get beat down like we did. Right. And, and the Cardinals did get beat down. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts here of this game? Do you not care? Do you care or do you care too much? Let me know here in the comments below. Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and uh, go cards.